What's going on everybody? Here to give you another tutorial. I've had a few people ask questions about secondary error codes for the Xbox 360 Fat Console, so that's what I'll show you how to do. Um, it's actually pretty simple, so this will be a short tutorial. I'm not going to go into what all the secondary error codes mean. Um, there's a lot of good websites out there uh, to find out about the error codes, and uh, one of the good ways is to go to xbox-experts.com and uh, they have a full thing to look it up um, and uh, try to narrow down what exactly is wrong with your console when it has a red ring issue. So uh, what I'll just be doing here is to show you how to get those uh, secondary error codes. Uh, this console is uh, case modded. Um, and there's actually nothing wrong with it, so I'm actually going to kind of fry it on purpose. Um, what I've done is I've disconnected the disk, the disk drive as well as the fan, um, and then it should overheat. So what we're going to do is we're going to power it on now, and we're going to wait for it to overheat. And then I will show you how to use the secondary error codes. Now, uh, for those of you that don't know, uh, the red light, um, if you have four uh, red lights flashing, it's usually something to do with your AV cable. Uh, if you have three, that's of course the red ring of death. Uh, two is almost always an overheating issue, which is what we're going to get here, or should get here shortly. Um, one is always like an E code, which is, it'll actually display a error code on screen. Um, so just, just so you can kind of narrow it down now. With the four uh, red rings, uh, you can't get a secondary error code with those. I know you can with uh, the other three, though, um, so just keep that in mind. All right, there we go. Now we've got it to red ring here. Um, so this is how this works. First, you've got the sync button. What you do is you push that and hold it. Um, after you've got that held down, you'll push the eject button four times. Um, so what we'll do here is I'm going to push it one time, and now you see it's flashing four lights. I push it again and it's flashing four lights. Push it again, now it's flashing one light. And I pushed it again and it's flashing one light again. Then you press it again to uh, exit out of that mode. So as you see, we have four presses there. Um, now, um, when it actually shows four rings when you're doing this, it actually stands for a zero. Uh, so don't get it mixed up when you look up the codes later. Uh, because um, a lot of people uh, will think that that means that that's a number four for the error code, but it's not. That's actually a zero. Um, so for this error code, let's do it one more time. There's going to be a zero, zero, one, one. And uh, if I was getting two lights, it would be two, three lights would be three, and four lights, uh, like I said, is zero. I don't, I'm not really sure why it's like that or why people refer to it like that, uh, that's kind of just the way it is. Um, once again, if you want to go to Xbox Experts, and I think I'll go ahead and just put a link in the description, so if you look in the description and go down to um, and click on that link, you will be able to check out there. Um, what It's really cool and really simple, you just put in your error code and how many uh, uh, rings on the original red ring you have, with, whether it's one, two, three, or four, and then you put in the secondary error code, and uh, it'll come up with a really good description for everything. Um, and yeah, that'll be uh, how you can get started on deciding how you need to fix red ring issues. Ooh, that is definitely hot. Um, but anyways, I hope this helped, and uh, that's uh, how I've always done it, and uh, how it should be done anyways. Um, I could go ahead and show you as well if you've got the faceplate removed. Um, of course, if um, if you've got a uh, if you don't have the eject button in here, uh, what it is is um, let's see if I can actually pry this out a little bit for you, and I'll actually show you uh, how to do it if you don't have a faceplate on there if you've already got it taken apart. As you can see, the eject button goes down here. Goes right down here. That's the end of it. And you see that kind of, the prong sticks in there a little bit. If you take something and stick it in there, uh, and then this right here is where the uh, sync button is. So if you take something, jam it in there, and hold it, 
and then poke this in here four different times, you can get your air coat that way too. Just in case you've already got it disassembled, you don't feel like taking it back apart. Anyways, I uh, hope you guys found this helpful. Um, if you did, make sure to like and subscribe. i uh, got a lot of other tutorials that I do. Um, so yeah, just uh, let me know what you think, and if you have any other questions about this, then make sure to leave a comment. Until next time.